Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from the Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. I trust you had a good weekend. Political ref- reflections. This tweet from Donald Trump. Remember Michael Cohen only became a rat after the FBI did something which was absolutely unthinkable and unheard of until the witch hunt was illegally started. They broke into an attorney's office. Why did they break into the DNC to get the server or Crooked's office? I take you back to that word, a rat. Trump, I, I admit, is a linguistic warfare specialist, but the linguistics now confirms he is tipping over the edge. I worked mafia cases for years in SDNY mainly Gambino and Genovese. I usually hesitate to make this comparison, but here it is completely warranted. This calling somebody who provides information to law enforcement a rat is straight up mob boss language. That's Ellie Honig. Sudan's Omar al-Bashir is the first Arab leader to visit Damascus in eight years. Have a look at this short video from the rest. Update Vikram Singha says his reinstatement for it was a victory for Sri Lanka's democratic institutions, and of course, Sri Lanka has become a proxy battle between India and China. Qatar successfully changed the blockade from a crisis to an advantage. Uh, Jocelyn Sage Mitchell at the Doha Forum, which I attended a few years back, and I think that's absolutely correct. There's a report that the Saudi prince is planning a Netanyahu meeting hosted by Donald Trump. Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed bin Salman is planning a game-changing meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Middle East Eye reported Thursday. Sources in the Saudi Kingdom claim that the Crown Prince is seriously considering a game-changing meeting with Netanyahu, which would be hosted by President Trump. MBS asked his task force to study this proposal and he has hinted he liked the idea. So an interesting development there. It takes me back to October 2013, which was another age, which was when uh, uh, Barack Hussein Obama was reaching out to Hassan Rouhani and I was saying then if the Pax Americana in the Middle East were a three-legged stool, the U.S. the most important uh, leg, then Israel and Saudi Arabia are the other two legs of that stool. Badra Kumar, if Trump's stunt works, Camp, Camp David-style handshake of MBS and BB will be a masterstroke, pitting the Israel lobby against lawmakers, and the lineup will be Trump plus Israel lobby plus Sheldon and Adelson plus Pentagon versus CIA, Congress, and media. Any guess which side will prevail? According to the Times, a majority of the UK cabinet considers Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal to be dead. Um, that took me to Monty Python's dead parrot. And this week's prize for the dumbest Brexit take goes to PWC. Brexit could be the trigger the UK needs to embrace the fourth industrial revolution and unlock the potential of blockchain. I like that. Uh, Have a look at this. Two expert lip readers tell Five News that Theresa May accuses John Claude Juncker of describing her as nebulous. Um, uh, Then jumping from there, I like this. I think Jeremy Corbyn would be a great leader of the world. This photograph of some graffiti. You'll hear the news when I announce it, Jeremy Corbyn responds to Channel 4 when asked if he is running scared. Um, This caught my attention. What's happening in France shows what can occur when those in power lose control of the narrative. 
across ideological people's uprising is the absolute worst nightmare of the ruling class. Whoever has the gold makes the rules, but whoever controls the narrative determines who gets the gold. Anyone who tries to control your narrative about yourself is trying to control you. Interesting quote from Bloomberg, I don't think the West as a concept exists anymore. 